I'm Vivette Porges, daughter of P.P. Porges, Paul Peter. Pepe. Pepe. And I'm Claudia Porges Bayer. I'm the older daughter of <laughs> Pepe Pepe and Lucy Porges. He's a very observant man and he loved to draw and I think that uh, everything inspired him and uh, gave him ideas. From early on when he was a little boy growing up in Vienna, he just started drawing. He found a piece of paper, a board, pencil and that was it. It was very natural, very easy. And I remember him telling us he could draw anything and that really blew my mind. I was really impressed. He was very, very funny, and um, he was very aware of uh, current events. He was really on top of everything. He could speak on many, many topics, and when we had friends over, they would always get caught talking to him, and they'd never get to us because he was so interesting and aware and, and very funny. He always, uh, you know, used material that he saw that and, and translated it into uh, art, to drawings, all sorts of things, and also writing. He loved to write about. Uh, he was very well read. You know, he, he really was very smart on so many topics. Yeah, he could talk about anything. Really. And he also loved history. He yes. read a lot of books about yes. history. So that was very much a part of what, when he drew Yeah, no, we did all, all the time. All the time. So we've been going through a lot of photos in the last few days, and, and we love this photo that we found of um, our father at a drawing board in Geneva, probably when he was maybe... 20-something, very yeah, young. Very young. Maybe not even 20. He was in his teens, um, I think. Yes, it must have been before 1947. It was after, shortly after the war. War was ended, and they were in, he was in art school. He had met our mother and fallen in love. And it looks like a very fun, happy time in his life, in this picture where he's surrounded by a bevy of women. <laughs> <laughs> and he was very dashing, I, yes. we find, anyway. He so was. We love this picture. <laughs> we love this picture, and especially because our mother happens to be in it. And, and also, we love the way he looks. He's certainly having a lot of fun. We thought it was um, a, a fun thing to show that um, he drew all the time, and he also drew for pleasure, and for, not just for his career and his work. And so he never missed an opportunity for, at a birthday or a holiday, or even when we were at summer camp, to draw and write to us. And um, we feel like the luckiest people to have these beautifully drawn cards, Absolutely. handmade uh, cards. He just, it seemed to enjoy this so much too. He took such pleasure in, in drawing for us, for our mother, for us, our friends. He drew this card for my 13th birthday and this was so me, like he really got it. There was always this like excitement, yeah. you know, like in his type style, it's like just, it's your birthday, you know. <laughs> the greatest teenage, new teenager. These are some that he did for our kids when he was a happy grandfather. So this was for my older son, Kit, when he was five. And this was Kit when he was eight. I mean, always he took the time to do this. And then he also had these doodles, you know, these freehand doodles in his notes. And it was always about his two girls, his two daughters doing things together. He was very happy to have Two girls. I think so. Yeah, he wasn't the sportiest guy, so I think it was very uh, easy for him to have two daughters, especially two daughters who like to draw. For my 16th birthday, this was one of my favorites because he just put in the most fabulous desserts and you he could had think a sweet of. Tooth. And I did have a sweet tooth, and he did too. And also, his, type. his ability with type is clear. Fabulous. I think it's a lost art to do hand-done type, and we have a lot of examples of gorgeous uh, type. We, we call it his font, actually. Yes. There's one we'll show you after that he used, and it's so beautiful. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle, how the letters fit together. It's beautiful. Yeah. 
but I have this which made me very popular. It was, <laughs> it was an ad they took in my high school yearbook, and it was actually 18 small Claudias getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and each one was saying something very grumpy and nasty. <laughs> And at the very end, it just said, it's been weird and never dull. <laughs> but uh, it, was, it was probably the most famous ad in the yearbook. This one is not such a beautiful drawing, but what it says is, this is to my son Kit, when I was 17, I fought the Nazis with a can opener. I quoted Descartes to little girls with skinny legs. Red wine was my diet cola. My bathroom was all of southern France. I could conjugate the verb être with a full mouth of pomfrit. I shaved twice a month with a sharp soup spoon using chicken fat for soap, but I could not drive a car because my son was driving at that age. So we always love this one. Happy birthday, Kit. We have our birth announcements. Oh, yeah. This is that font I was explaining to you. These are hand-lettered cards that he then had printed, which, I mean, they're you, you don't see this font, no? It's the Pepe Pe font. And here's the one for my birth announcement. He added a little tree. tree on yeah. Yours. Ooh. And then he, here's one he did for my daughter. The um, way that he worked, he was designing stationery for our mother, and I just wanted to show how, what goes into it. He did so her many name. Years over and over, worked on the type and the uh, composition, and, you know, he played around with it, right? He, and then here is, is the final. Well, it was very exciting to have a father who drew and worked for some of the publications that he did, you know, to say that he sent us letters when we were at summer camp written on Mad Stationery from Alfred E. Newman. Uh, crazy things and so it was it was good yeah it was Never lose your sense of humor. Defend those who need it. Absolutely look out for others and just be kind and decent and document your stories. Tell your stories, but document them for fu the future. Well, you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to say that we're very excited to be here at the show in New York. We went to the one in Vienna. It's a fantastic show. We're thrilled that he's that he's being seen again, his work, and um, it's, it's just a real thrill. Yeah, he would be so thrilled. Oh, he would be thrilled. So, yeah, so much. And we're happy. We, we feel his, his joy yeah. for this. Mm -hmm.